Yo, what is going on guys? Troy here, WakeKNetwork.com and in today's video, I'm gonna talk about the importance of mini cut cycling to pack on more muscle mass and have less body fat during your bulking cycle. Now, mini cut cycling is actually gonna help you build more lean muscle mass. It's gonna help you increase your testosterone and when it gets to spring and summertime, you're trying to get really ripped, really lean, get those six pack abs, you're gonna have much less body fat. So if you want to pack on the most amount of lean muscle mass during your bulking season, minimizing your fat storage as well so you can get really cut, this video is specifically for you. So part one, I'm gonna break down what a mini cut cycle is. Part two, we're gonna break down the calories and length in a mini cycle. And then part three, we're gonna dive into the X factors that are gonna take your mini cut cycle to the next level. Let's dive right into it. So a mini cut is we are dropping as much fat as possible in as little time as possible to allow us to spend more time in a gaining cycle, which is gonna result in bigger strength and bigger size gains when we look at the course of say 20 to 26 weeks. So think of it like this. This is say an anabolic bridge, which is gonna allow you to spend more time over the course of a year in a mass gaining phase without packing on a bunch of body fat. So it is the perfect complement to guys who are trying to get really big and really strong in a fast period of time who don't wanna pack on a lot of excess body fat. So think about the average calorie surplus or the average like mass building diet. You're gonna pack on a little bit of body fat. Even if it's two to four pounds of body fat a month, this is gonna add up to say 10 to 15 pounds of body fat over the course of say a couple months. That's gonna be a bitch to try to cut off in say eight to 12 weeks when it's springtime and you wanna look really ripped. So by throwing in these little mini cuts, it's gonna allow us to strategically not slow down our metabolism, but burn the, uh, the maximum amount of body fat and belly fat, actually skyrocket some hormones, which I'm gonna get into, and still make strength and size gains. All right guys, we're talking length of a mini cut. I want you to think of it like robbery. You are about to rob a bank. So robbing a bank, you are in, and then you are out before any damage occurs. So I want you to think of your mini cut length the exact same way, in and out before any metabolic damage occurs. Because remember, a mini cut, we have a drastic calorie deficit for a much shorter period of time. So we're gonna lose more fat in less time. We're not gonna cause any metabolic damage. And then we're gonna go right back into our mass gaining phase. We're gonna pack on slabs of lean muscle mass like an anabolic beast. So length of a mini cut, one to four weeks. Now, if you're a serious hard gainer, you don't have much body fat to lose, just do it for one week. If you're like me and you're down to like a four pack, sort of a six pack, and you wanna get super shredded come spring and summertime, I want you to do it for four weeks. Now, timing is also really crucial on a mini cut. We got all these holiday parties coming up. Maybe you're going to a Christmas party. You throw on that ugly sweater. You're gonna eat a bunch of cookies. You're gonna drink a bunch of eggnog all that junk food that we all know we're gonna indulge in over the holiday Christmas parties. Maybe do a little mini cut before then because you know you're gonna pack on some body fat from say December 24th to January 2nd. Why not set yourself up to have higher testosterone, come in a little bit leaner so that way you can really enjoy the holidays knowing that you went on a mini cut right before. But if you are trying to maximize your fat burning and you wanna get the most out of a mini cut, you packed on maybe a little more body fat than you wanted to during bulking season, I want you to take your body weight and multiply it by 10. Because remember, we're only doing this for one to four weeks. So if you go on a major calorie deficit, you're not gonna mess up your metabolism and cause metabolic damage. And by metabolic damage, I mean you go back into a bulking phase with a sluggish and slow metabolism because you drop your calories too much for too long of a period of time. That's what we actually avoid doing this mini cut because we're only doing it for one to four weeks. So. If you want to maximize fat loss, take your body weight by 10. So for me, I'm like 195 pounds right now. So I multiply that by 10. That is 1,950 calories for all you math geniuses out there. Now, if you, maybe you're fairly lean already, you're like a hard gainer or you just happen to be lucky and you only have like nine or 10% body fat still on a bulking phase, take your body weight and multiply it by 12. So for me personally, I'm gonna be between like 1,950 and 2,200 something calories for my mini cuts. Talking X factors, the devil is always in the details. So just a few X factors that are gonna help you take your mini cut to the next level. So number one, don't drop your protein intake. You still need at least one gram of protein 
per one pound of body weight because remember you need those amino acids to repair that damaged muscle tissue and number two drop your fat you're gonna drop your carbohydrates but don't drop your carbohydrates too much around your workouts in fact the only time of the day where I want you guys to still eat carbohydrates on this mini cut is around your workouts so Feel free to load up on one of my famous mass building shake recipes post-workout if you need a bunch of carbs or have a little intra-workout maltodextrin mixed in with your protein powder. Maybe you have some complex carbs before you work out or after you work out. You wanna make sure you're in that calorie deficit but you still need carbohydrates around your workouts to maximize your workout intensity. Now, another little idea is intermittent fasting with your mini cut. Remember, intermittent fasting, I did a video, I don't know, two months ago on intermittent fasting. Gonna be an incredible way to turn up your energy levels and your testosterone levels on a mini cut. So if you put all your food in an eight hour eating window, you're gonna find that you have more energy, you have higher testosterone levels, and it's much easier to follow a caloric deficit. And me personally, this is my strategy on my mini cut. I'm gonna do intermittent fasting for between 16 and 18 hours hopefully see amazing results, and I'm gonna have awesome energy. I get all my important work done in the morning when I'm on my fast, and then I break my fast immediately after my workout. I actually do work out fasted on an empty stomach. I'll mix in branch chain amino acids with my pre-workout, and it just hits you so hard. Holy shit, when you take pre-workout and branch chain amino acids on a completely empty, uh, empty stomach, it is going to hit you like a Komodo dragon. Shit is insane. So. We have our carbohydrates around our workouts. Don't drop your protein. Try intermittent fasting and make sure you hit lots of testosterone boosting foods. So things like Brazil nuts and organic whole eggs, grass fed beef, wild caught salmon. Load up on those micronutrients. Load up on lots of broccoli and cauliflower and cabbage. Those dark green veggies that have anti-estrogen properties. We want to maximize our hormonal level on this mini cut because remember, like I said, your testosterone levels plummet to the ground when you pack on too much body fat. This gives us a prime time to boost those natural testosterone levels. So when we transition back into a mass gaining phase, we not only have less body fat, we have higher testosterone levels. I'm gonna sign off there guys. It is like 85 freaking degrees right now in Florida and it is a couple weeks until Christmas time. So I'm gonna sign off. I'm sweating through my Baby Gap t-shirt right now. So I'm gonna sign off for right now. But if you're looking for more tips, on how to bulk up and gain lean muscle mass, head on over to weightgainmethod.com. See you there, guys.